if you only focused on main images, this is the fastest way to grow sales on Amazon. And this tip combines a lot of the basics. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over to one of these products. So this is one of my friend's products. And I think this is the fastest way to really showcase what I'm talking about. So if we look at some of these images here, I'm going to go show you, this is the original product image. Now, if you were shopping for a journal and you came upon this in the wild on the search page, why would you click on this? But what people fail to realize is that the way that you win sales on Amazon is the strategy on the search page. So if you looked at this product on the search page, you would probably say, I would buy it if I liked the color yellow. But that's really the gist of this product. It unfortunately misses the boat on a lot of things. So if we go type in happy me journal on amazon.com like this, happy me journal, or if we just typed in, uh, so you can see all the competitors and what it looks like. Now compare that to the image that we actually chose to use, the way that we, in, we invented a new main image. Now, when you compare these two images, we could talk about trying to get the 2000 by 2000 cropping correct. That is true. We did make a leaps and bound improvement there. But the strategy that I'm advocating for today is actually much deeper. By looking at the starburst up here in the top right, you can see while you're on the search page, what age is this for? Now, if I had a kid who's seven years old, because I do, I have, a, I have a seven-year-old son, and I wanted to get a journal for him, I would click on this product because it literally says it's for my son. It's right there, age six to 12. That starburst attracts clicks. Now this is completely Amazon compliant. I do get questions about that, but even if it wasn't, you could test this yourself. If you get an image suppression, you can quickly fix this in less than 15 minutes and reload it. Now, if we look at the original photo again, what else did we change? We next showcased part of the interior of the product. We showed how if you open up the journal, it's not just a blank journal. It's got some really cool cartoon characters and really showcasing what's inside of the product from the main image gives a person a reason to click on it. And then finally, this white banner right here, you can't make out or read any of that today. But when you switch it out and you write giant font text, kids journal, the consumer really starts to get interested. And we go back to this Amazon search page and we start looking at what we're competing against. And you see all these various different products and you can see journals and all of these different things. When you see their product, it is night and day. You know, this is a journal for kids. You know, it's a kid's journal for three to six. And you can see it's kind of playful. Three reasons to click on the product. When we made this change, we tripled the click-through rate on this product. The CTR went from 3% to 9%. The amount of people now clicking on this product is tremendously higher. But how do we come to the conclusion that this was the right data set to look at? We used brain analytics. So, and when we saw the data, we noticed that the kids journal phrase was in search query performance slot number one. And then journal for kids six through 12 was in slot number three. So this data right here helps you understand a key phrase to put smack dab right on your main image. And that's extraordinarily valuable and very impactful. The data that's here is on the brand analytics search query performance report. To get to here, you put your cursor on the hamburger menu go to brands and click on brand analytics. When loading this, I like to keep the following in mind. I like to call this the ICAP marketing funnel, ICAP. This stands for impressions, clicks, add to carts, and purchases, ICAP or ICAP marketing funnel. When you understand how to use this, you can drastically change your strategies in PPC, SEO, design and catalog management. And when we talk about the design tip today, this is a revolutionary change because if you know that your conversion rate is higher at add to carts and purchases than it is at clicks, that you have a main image problem and you need to change your design. You have to update it for Amazon standards, right? And so a lot of people don't 
really think this through. They're like, I'm going to have this go for retail packaging. And this is what the consumer receives. And this is what they get at a retail store. But this is an Amazon ready image. This is the difference that you can have a massive impact. And all you have to do is come in and look at the top keywords. And by the way, this can be done at the brand level. This can be done at the ASIN level. And you can zoom in to figure out every specific product's main keyword and then put it onto the main image. Now, this can be done a variety of ways. You can put it onto the product packaging. You can put it onto the product. You can put it into various different locations on the image. So for example, here is a product that doesn't have it added yet. The location that I would add would be at the bottom here or the top of the brown box. And I would add the word target stand. And and the reason is, is because when somebody looks at this, there's a lot to take in. But if they just have the word target stand right there, smack dab, front and center, psychologically, they figure out what this product is faster than you can tell them. And that's a very important tactic to keep in mind. You can understand what the product is by reading the phrase without reading the phrase. The phrase tells you what the product is without you having to think about it. And in the day and age where it's like basically a TikTok society, you have five seconds five seconds to get somebody's attention. So when you show them what they're looking for, if somebody uses the main keyword that's searching for your product, whether it's happy me journal, kids journal, whether it's target stand, or it's the phrase of your choice for your brand that you can find in that brand analytics data, you're going to convince them that this is the product for you. This is the product for me. I'm going to click on this, right? In In politics, your job is to cast as wide of a tent as possible. But in marketing, the opposite is true. And this catches people by surprise when I talk about this. But your marketing strategy is to push away people as much as it is to pull them towards you. When you understand this, it changes how you think about how to take your market, uh, take your product to market. You then realize that I need people to understand what my product is as much as I need them to understand what it is not. And you don't want to mix and match messaging. You don't want to have on your product imagery pictures of mixed demographics. You don't want to have a product that could be sold to old people, but also to infants. It just doesn't, the psyche just rejects this. If you're a mother and you're shopping for a supplement for your child and you start to see people with gray hair, it just doesn't go down well, right? And so once you understand how to reach the customer avatar, your strategy evolves drastically. And then you start to look at data like we have in brand analytics and you realize all I have to do is add something like this, sage candles for cleansing house. Now, if we go over to my products like this, you'll notice that I added this keyword directly into my title. I also spend a lot of money on this keyword in PPC. Just in the last uh, 65 days alone, I have spent sage candles cleansing house well over $2,000 plus other cursory keywords on other campaigns, as well as this ad group, I've generated thousands of dollars in money off this keyword. But like I mentioned earlier, this product is not a candle. And if you take this keyword and you type it into Amazon like this, what you notice here is that there's lots of different candles showing up, right? And as you scroll down, candle, 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 there's my ad. And our product stands apart and we're able to take advantage of these search results because when somebody was looking for a candle, in reality, they really weren't looking for a candle. They were looking for the cleansing more than the candle. And so what happened is is when we focused on this keyword, our brand share went through the roof. 40% of the time when somebody sees my product, they click on it. That's an amazing factoid. It's a 13% click share of all of the products on that keyword. And as you scroll through 16% on add to carts, and I'm going to go all the way over to the purchase column and you can see a 4% purchase rate when somebody goes to the product or 15% of the brand gets all of these market shares. So that means I basically have one out of six people buys my product when they search sage candles for cleansing house versus the competition. So by understanding these strategies, we could then advocate and say, cool, maybe if we go back to the candle product, 
maybe we should redo the main image on this product and put sage cleansing for house and take advantage of all the cursory words that the search query performance report and brand analytics says to take advantage of. You will be able to triple your CTR by taking advantage of this main hack, best marketing strategy as it comes to design. And when you get your design right, it also affects your SEO because your search terms are going to rank better. They're going to index better. They're going to rank higher in the search results. And what that does is it lowers your PPC costs. And then you're a happier camper. When you tie all four of these strategies together, all ships rise together. And that's why as a marketing agency, those are the four pillars that I focus on. SEO and PPC for traffic and catalog and design for conversion rates. All four of those pillars combining together are how you grow sales and make sure that your market share is going up on Amazon. 